Hi, I'm Amani and I'm the Secretary of CASA. Hi, I'm Frank and I am the Vice President of CASA. CASA stands for Celebrating All Student Achievements. Our club addresses racial and social inequalities within our school and society. Today for Black History Month, we want to discuss our natural biases. The definition of a natural bias is an inclination of temperament or outlook, especially a personal and sometimes unreasoned judgment. We are constantly acting on and perceiving the world through our natural biases. We can see evidence of our natural biases in everyday life. Have you ever assumed your Asian classmate must be a straight-A student just because they're Asian? Have you ever witnessed a male classmate continuously talk over a female classmate in a class discussion? Have you ever seen a black female and a white female at a party and naturally assumed the black female was ghetto? Whether you've witnessed or experienced any of these examples, they are all forms of natural biases created by our society. It's important to understand that we all have our own biases, and all biases are not bad. It's natural to perceive people and the world in favor of our own perspectives, culture, community, and experiences. But in order to create a community of inclusiveness, we all must look at and confront our biases that may be harmful to others, such as racial or cultural bias. When our biases cause us to have strong, negative opinions about other races and cultures, personal reflection and change are essential. We hope that if you aren't already, after today you are actively working against your biases by educating and bettering yourself. But the first step is having hard and honest conversations with yourself and your community. After current events, the true impact of untamed racial biases are evident. We have seen the African American community hugely impacted by police brutality. We have seen and heard the Asian American community harassed and condemned for a worldwide pandemic. Synagogues and mosques are being broken into, vandalized, and burned down across the nation. And while having conversations about our racial inclinations can be difficult, it is clear from the summer protests to the more recent Capitol riots, uncomfortable but courageous conversations are what we need. Now is not the time to just speak up. It is also the time to listen. We need to use this opportunity to listen to the experiences of others so we can understand their history. We need understanding to create harmony. We hope that starts today in our Wissahickon classrooms. We hope the discussion questions we have provided allow everyone to have an honest and respectful conversation with the intent to become more educated and aware.